Cars are becoming more autonomous. As passengers, we'll have more time to relax and entertain ourselves. Car companies see a big opportunity, not only to provide the car, but also to provide the entertainment. What kind of entertainment are car companies most excited about? Video games. Yes, video games. Played on monitors, on headsets, and even on windshields in our cars. It's not science fiction. The technology is here, today. Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi have all made forays into gaming. Right now, in a Tesla, you can play Atari or play Centipede, and they just recently announced that they're gonna enhance the technology in their vehicles that could potentially bring Fortnite to Teslas. This is Ayub Awad. He's watched car companies invest heavily in the in-car entertainment experience. The technology he's referring to are the game engines Unreal and Unity, which Tesla CEO Elon Musk plans to bring into his cars. We asked a video games reporter why this was important. Unreal Engine and Unity are both game development platforms. They're used far and wide by tons of different game companies just to design games, whether it's for mobile phones or consoles. You can use those suites the same way you might use like Photoshop to put a game together. Making infotainment systems more compatible with these kind of dev tools will just make it that much easier for developers who are already working on games for other platforms to make them available in the car. Studio MDHR did just this with their popular indie side-scroller Cuphead. In an interview for IGN, Elon Musk reported MDHR and Tesla had ported the Unity game, and that it would be available to play on Tesla's central console touchscreens in a limited capacity later this summer. Tesla isn't the only company interested in video games. Audi worked with Disney to develop a virtual reality Guardians of the Galaxy themed game called Avengers Rocket's Rescue Run. The VR backseat gaming experience is designed to react to real world factors. When the car accelerates or turns sharply, so does Rocket's ship in game. Mercedes Benz is also in the hunt. Daimler, which is the parent company of Mercedes Benz, has also launched its own in car gaming competition where startups and developers can create their own immersive gaming experience. You know, this could revolutionize the in game, in car experience. Video games have taken the world by storm. Gaming is a $135 billion industry and a pastime practiced in nearly every home. Fortnite, by developer Epic Games, for example, has more than 200 million global users, while Respawn Entertainment's Apex Legends accumulated 50 million in its first month. Car companies hope customers will value an in-car gaming experience as they do a car's interior or performance. I think the idea of like selling a car package based on video games is kind of funny, but at the same time we see people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on just gaming as a hobby. So being able to extend that into your car does make sense. For the video game industry, the idea of exclusivity has always been around from you know Nintendo and Sega to PlayStation and Xbox. The fact that a car company could have their own exclusive offerings in terms of video games will probably get people involved. Ride sharing companies want in on the action. Eventually, if autonomous vehicles take off, you're not gonna have drivers anymore. And so how do you create the best experience for your riders that like differentiate Uber from Lyft? And that's like creating like a really unique, awesome in-car in experience. If we take GM with its autonomous ride hailing group, Cruise, you know, they're, they're fighting against Uber, they're fighting against Lyft, they're fighting against Waymo, who are all planning to introduce their own autonomous ride hailing services. Whereas previously it might be the driver that's a differentiator or the actual ride. Now it's gonna be the actual in-car experience. We may not see a full living room experience in our cars this year, but recent advancements in gaming technology indicate we're close. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. So the next big thing in gaming is going to just be streaming games. Google just announced Stadia, which is going to be their video game streaming platform. Microsoft has a new program called Project X Cloud that they're going to be able to just beam games to your phone using your internet connection. I guess the goal of Google Stadia and these other cloud gaming platforms is to make you forget what you're playing the game on and just worry about what it is that you're choosing to play. With Stadia, you'll be able to pause that game in your living room and pick it up from the exact same location in your car because the actual computer that's running the game is 
miles and miles away and all you need is the internet connection to take it with you. So when it comes to these infotainment systems in the car, if you have a strong enough internet connection, it's possible that you'll be able to beam a game directly to the screen and just play from there and not have to worry about whether it's compatible or not. The future is that like every single display and window in the vehicle is part of the experience. And like that future is like that would be pretty cool.